This is Fred, the agronomist and a farmer. And uh, we are back to our class. And still, on uh, we are continuing from where we left on uh, baby confirming. And uh, today, I want to share with you uh, details on marketing, uh, maturity, and uh, the returns of baby corn, comparing it with the normal corn or with the normal maize or uh, with any type of uh, farming we are doing. So, uh, baby corn farming, uh, uh, it is among the, the, the family of maize that takes short periods to mature. But when it matures now, baby corn, we don't take the grains, like the name suggests, it's a baby corn. So, we, we, we are interested with the, with, the, with the baby corn, like this one, it's already mature. It's, it's a, it has already mature. So, this is the part of the corn that we are so much interested in, and that's why it's called baby corn. This is the part of the corn that uh, we are interested in. So, as you can see, this is what uh, we consume, or this is what is consumed. And if the grains in this, in this corn grows beyond this point, we call it uh, 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 it's over mature all it it's not it's not supposed to be consumed and if you wait until the, the grains becomes uh, the big grains and uh, uh, you try to uh, to cook them or make fruit of it they are very hard eh? so we usually prefer them take uh, consuming them at this stage so uh, baby corn usually takes uh, 45 to 60 days to maturity that when uh, you start uh, harvesting and uh, the interesting part about baby corn it can produce it can start producing even before tass tasseling you can you start uh, harvesting your first corn even before tasseling and when tasseling as uh, the tassel comes out you've already harvested some few corns as you can see they have already uh, been harvested and how do you know uh, the baby corns are mature when the silk, which is uh, now the, the silk comes out, this is an indication that the corns are mature. When it is of this stage, as you can see this one, this one is not yet mature. But this one, with this silk, it's mature. So, within 60 days, you're in the market and you have started farming. For the normal maize, even if it's a genetically modified variety, at 60 days you cannot uh, you cannot harvest your maize or you cannot harvest your corn. So uh, from there, from the 60th day, uh, we usually harvest for around four, three to five weeks, depending by the speed it's producing. Because on weekly basis you can be able to harvest two. Like for example, as see this one. When when we will be harvesting these. We are going to remove all the cones, the two cones. That means it's already mature. So you can harvest two to three cones uh, per, 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 per plant. And this plant can produce up to ten cones, depending by how you feed them, depending by uh, the weather, like when it's raining, it's very productive. But during irrigation, there are some limitations. So uh, it, it's a good deal. So when it comes to uh, the cost of production, uh, the cost of producing baby corn is among the cheapest uh, uh, venture I've seen because it's, uh, it, it, uh, it costs Kenyan shillings in between 40,000 to at most 80,000 shillings per, 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 per acre. That is from buying the seeds, sowing all the activities up to when you go to the market. And at the moment, the market, the export market that I'm dealing with is taking a, a KSG at that shillings, Kenyan, that Kenyan shillings that allowed uh, that cent, those who are uh, uh, using dollars, that cent. Uh, so um, that Kenyan shillings per KG and per, per liquor, we project to harvest in between four tons to five tons. Let's say we, we harvest uh, at least four tons on what is bought or what is uh, uh, what comes out of the farm is four tons times multiplied by that shillings, you are able to get at least um, 120,000 from what you've, you'll you get here. And that is a within a period of uh, uh, less than three months because 
it's 60 days to maturity then four weeks of production continuous production so you'll be able to get around 120,000 if you do your calculation if you decide to uh, to grow the normal maize and the normal maize takes around three to four months for those who are doing two seasons like the areas that I'm in other areas takes around uh, seven to, to ten months uh, if you, you decide to do maize uh, that maize with the same same cost of production, let's say with the same same cost of production, I, in according to to the environment we are in, we produce around uh, 20 to 30 bucks of maize eh? with a good pricing that is 4,500. Uh, you can see how much you are getting uh, from uh, from from 20 to 30 uh, to 30 bucks. So in either way you go. Make sure that you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are making money and you are doing a good business. And the interesting part of it is uh, after harvesting the baby corn, you also sell this, uh, the stock to the silage producers all day for, for one more feed. And an acre of baby corn because of uh, its sugar level, the sugar levels of baby corn are high as compared to other varieties. And uh, at the moment, we are selling in between uh, that that thousand per acre to forty thousand. When the 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 season is low, it sells around twenty thousand to thirty thousand. So it's always on market, and you can make good uh, cash or good returns out of this. Um, we usually, when you are growing baby corn, when we sell this silage or um, this one more feed, this what covers our cost of production. The less the, the, the cons are just uh, profit and good money out of it. So you can decide whether you want to grow these or you want to grow the other varieties. But if you decide to grow baby corn, make sure you have your contracted grower. This is not a, a variety that you grow, then go looking for the market. Have a contract because at the moment uh, in the Kenyan market, uh, it's not highly consumed. Uh, those are the, the demand is very low, so not as compared to tomatoes. Uh, so have a, an export contract and come grow from that. If you grow without a contract, because of the speed uh, at which this uh, variety grows, you'll make uh, uh, losses and you won't be able to make good returns. Remember, this is business, and once you make loss, you are not in business tomorrow. Hope you've learned something from our today's uh, topic. If you want a uh, market link, you can also reach out to me. I have different market export market links. We can discuss about that. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that we can continue learning together. Bye.